वेलकम टू आवर चैनल बायोहॉलिक आई एम योर एडुकेटेड ओलिविया टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ इंडोक्रिनोलॉजी सो लेट स्टार्ट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंडोक्रिनोलॉजी इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर केमिकल कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड इंटीग्रेशन इन एनिमल्स कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन इज परफॉर्म्ड बाय नर्वस सिस्टम एंड इंडोक्राइन सिस्टम जॉइंटली द न्यूरल और नर्वस कोऑर्डिनेशन इंक्लूड्स ह्यूमन नर्वस सिस्टम बोथ पेरिफिरल एंड सेंट्रल इन दिस प्रोसेस ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ नर्व इम्पल्स ऑकर फॉर ए क्विक कोऑर्डिनेशन बट द नर्व फाइवर्स डोंट इनर्वेट ऑल सेल्स ऑफ द बॉडी फॉर दिस रीजन इंडोक्राइन सिस्टम इज रिक्वर्ड फॉर द कोऑर्डिनेशन The chemical coordination is under the control of endocrine system which includes various glands at various location of the body these glands are responsible for the secretion of hormones so different hormones regulate the chemical coordination what is meant by chemical coordination as a definition we can say chemical coordination is the type of coordination present between cells or different organs where a group of cells releases specific chemicals like hormones which regulate the activities of other cells in the body now can you tell me the differences between neural coordination and chemical coordination Let's have a look in this chart. Depending upon working unit, they can be differentiated as in case of neural coordination, the working unit is the neurons that generate nerve impulses, but in case of chemical coordination, the cells that produce hormones act as working unit. Neural coordination acts close to their site of production, but chemical coordination generally acts far away from their site of production the neurons act at limited number of cells but the hormones act at large number of cells that may be up to millions next the neural coordination shows immediate effect to response but in case of chemical coordination some hormones shows immediate effects like insulin but some hormones may have delayed effect too for example the action of the effect of growth hormones the stimulation of neural coordination is under the control of electrical system but stimulation of chemical coordination is under the control of chemical stimulation the neural coordination and chemical coordination can also be differentiated depending upon their impulse conduction speed the impulse conduction speed of neural coordination is very fast about 100 meter per second but the impulse conduction in chemical coordination is not very rapid the life span of neural coordination impulse is very short but in case of chemical coordination the hormones remain active in blood for a longer period of time and last but not the least neural coordination has no effect on metabolic processes but the chemical coordination influences body metabolism therefore in a nutshell we can say that the neural coordination is a wired coordination and the chemical coordination is totally wireless here we can see the wired appearance of nerve fibers to regulate the neural coordination and in case of chemical coordination we can see there are some specific glands that secretes hormones So 
it's clear that some specific glands are the main component of chemical coordination. But how can I recognize a gland? What is a gland? Let's see. A gland is nothing but a group of cells present in an animal's body that synthesizes substances like hormones and releases those into bloodstream or into body cavities or its outer surface. Now let's discuss about the different types of glands. Depending upon the transportation of its secretion, the glands can be classified into three types. The exocrine glands, the endocrine glands and the mixed or heterocrine glands. So what is exocrine glands? The exocrine glands are those that require ducts for their passage of their secretion. And what about the endocrine glands? Endocrine glands are also known as ductless gland, which means that these glands pour their secretion directly into the blood and do not require any ducts. Now try to define what is the mixed or heterocrine gland. According to its name, it can be understood clearly that mixed or heterocrine glands are the mixture of both exocrine and endocrine glands. Therefore, these glands have both exocrine and endocrine functions. For example, pancreas is a mixed or heterocrine gland. Pancreas secretes insulin into blood and functions as an endocrine gland and it also secretes digestive enzymes and juice in pancreatic duct and thus play its exocrine roles. On the other hand, the exocrine glands are the parotid gland, salivary gland, sweat gland, sebaceous gland, lacrimal gland, etc. And the examples of endocrine glands are hypothalamus, pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal gland, pineal gland, ovaries and also the testes. In the structure of endocrine gland, we can see that the hormones after secretion are poured directly into the blood capillaries. But in case of exocrine gland, the chemical after secretion has no contact with the blood capillaries. They are secreted into the ducts. This is the structure of a pancreas. Here we can see the acne and dark tissues of pancreas play its exocrine functions and the islets of Langer hands executes the endocrine functions by secreting insulin, glucagon and somatostatin. Hence, pancreas is undoubtedly a mixed gland. So, what is endocrinology? The part logy is derived from logos that means to study and the endocrino part of the word endocrinology is came from the endocrine glands. Means that endocrinology is the study of endocrine glands. As a definition, endocrinology is the branch of science that is related with the study of endocrine glands, hormones and their effects. See the picture. Do you know him? Yes, he is Thomas Edison. He is known as the father of endocrinology. Why he is called so? Because he discovered Edison's disease and Edisonian anemia and he also showed the relation between the secretions of adrenal glands. We will learn later about adrenal gland and Edison's disease in details. So today's class is over but if you have any questions or any queries then write in the comment below we will definitely try to clear all your doubts 
and here are some questions related to today's class. Try to prepare those and if you need any notes regarding to these questions, you can also contact us through mail. Our mail address is provided in the description below. So let's see the questions. Which of the following has both endocrine and exocrine functions? Options are liver, pancreas, thyroid or adrenal gland. Endocrine gland activity is mediated through hormones, enzymes, minerals or vitamins. State the following statements are true or false. Number 1. Exocrine glands are ductless. Pancreas has endocrine function. Chemical coordination is also known as wireless coordination. Neurons are a part of chemical coordination. Pancreas has only exocrine function. Remember, pancreas has endocrine function and pancreas has only exocrine function. There is a huge difference. And lastly, endocrine system corrects the imbalance originally detected by the nervous system. Now let's practice some short descriptive questions. Who is known as the father of endocrinology? List the endocrine gland that is absent in males and that absent in females. Differentiate between neural and chemical coordination. How can you identify a gland as an endocrine gland? What is the difference between endocrine and exocrine glands? What is meant by chemical coordination? Why pancreas is called as the mixed gland? That's all for today. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel Bioholic. And also press the bell button to get all the class related notifications. Next Friday, we will learn about the hormones in detail. Till then, stay tuned.